careful about information released since Ramon Cervantes Sr. was officially reported missing last Tuesday evening. But we start with what we do know about the Ramon Cervantes Sr. and Sonia Abak cases. This is the man police believe is responsible for both, 37-year-old Manuel El Pelon Castillo, a resident of Orange Rock who migrated to the U.S. and was then deported. He is currently Belize's most wanted man. His common-law wife, 25-year-old Avicella Chelly Duran, is also being sought by police at this time. She is definitely wanted. He is our primary suspect, and we are doing our best to try to locate him. That's the mastermind? Yes, sir. As the mastermind? Definitely. Sir, can you tell us where, he, where you suspect he is located at this moment? Again, I refuse to disclose that, but um, he could be anywhere across Mexico, Guatemala. We are not sure at this time. And is he believed to be in the company of Aviseli Chan? We believe that. And her relation to the case? Well, um, of course, being so close to the primary suspect, definitely she has some questions to answer also. From what we have been able to piece together, though none of it has been officially confirmed, it is believed that Ramon Cervantes Sr. was snatched from his farm as early as Tuesday morning. He was then reportedly taken to the farm off the Honeycamp Road in an area known as Indian Hill. Sources tell us that it is likely he spent Tuesday here in this farmhouse. The front door was padlocked, but the back door hidden from the road was forced open. Inside was a cot with an old pillow. It is likely that during this time, Ramon Cervantes Sr. was guarded by these three men, Noe Gonzalez, Mateo Pot, and Angel Antonio Cardenas. How this scenario plays out is that on Wednesday morning, the three men allegedly received orders to kill their captive. They beat him to the body and then hit him in the head with a stick, crushing his skull. He was then carried from the house to this spot and buried in a shallow grave. We repeat that there is no official police confirmation of this scenario. And that brings us to the second body, that of Sonia Maribel Abak, found on a farm within sight of the shallow grave of Cervantes. Her disappearance on April 23rd made no headlines. On Wednesday, there was only the small flyer stuck on a building in Orange Walk Town as family members searched vainly for their loved one. She was a small woman, about 4 feet 5 inches tall, and her death was a cruel one. The same suspects that took us to Mr. Cervantes' body, or the same one who took us to this um, farm where Mr. Buck was thrown in a well, about 16 feet deep and buried. Well, they only find from shoulder to knee with a bit of meat on her feet, her hands, her head were separate and um, they found everything first but then the head was missing so they have to dig and they found her in a well so they had to dig the sun with water and until they found it they took it out and they put it on top of a zinc and they put the hair too because the hair was separate, the hair was I, long and everything. And um, I saw the body and it was very sad to see something like that. And she, they identify her because her left hand was broken. The doctor said that her skull was broken, her mandibula was broken too. And um, they found a purse, they found her digital phone. The smartphone, they didn't find it. Her shoes, her clothes, the same clothes she had and when she disappeared, it was there too. I saw everything and well, that's all I can say. Is it true that um, they find her head somewhere else? Yes, the, the head was by another, um, like they had to dig more in to find, to find the head because um, that was the last thing that they were looking for. And um, on the same well, there were animal bones, so the doctor had to be separating the human bone with the um, animal bone. Sources tell us that the men claim that a buck was practiced for the kidnapping of Ramon Cervantes Sr. Those sources also tell us that they found a list with the names of prominent Orange Walk residents who were targeted for kidnapping. While police have these men in custody, they really want to get their hands on Manuel El Pelon Castillo fingered as the man who planned the kidnappings and ordered the murders. Mike Rodon for News 5.